Greetings, people of the internet. I am Luchaman, and welcome to Luchaman Reviews. Now, it has been a week since its initial release, so today, Luchaman Reviews will be looking at X-Men, Days of Future Past, the seventh installment of the X-Men series. Now, uh, this film takes place in two timelines, one in the modern day and age, or near, very near future, and in the past, in 1973. In the near future, present, there are, um, the world, it's in a mess. There's buildings destroyed and whatnot, and, uh, if you are a mutant, or if humans have helped a mutant, then you are in serious trouble, as you are being oppressed by, they're called the Sentinels, but they don't look like the Sentinels. These things are a whole game-changing new kind of Sentinel. And there's only a handful of mutants who are still free. So the plan is, they will. One of, the, one of the mutants has the ability to send your brain back in time. So while you sleep, you go back in time to, to a different, to uh, like maybe a few days ago, to to with the knowledge you have of the present to warn people how to change the future. Only this plan is to send Professor X back to 1973. But since he won't survive the trip, only one mutant can do it, and that is Wolverine. So he volunteers, and he travels back to 1973, while time continues to move forward. Uh, his objective is this. In the past, Mystique goes back in time. Uh, Mystique, uh, she's uh, responsible for the assassination of the man who has created the Sentinels. Unfortunately, she gets captured. And based on her shape-shifting disguise uh, properties, they are able to, uh, well, they capture. And if you haven't seen the film yet... Let's just say Mystique's power is playing an important part into uh, how the Sentinel Sentinels act today in the near future part. Um, so, so with Wolverine back in the 1973, he has to recruit Professor X, Magneto, and any uh, mutants who are still free or not in hiding or n not being oppressed. So it's not just the usual cast. It's not Storm. It's not Cyclops. Uh, the events in of uh, Days of Future Past take place after after uh, First Class and before X-Men Origins, Wolverine. The story is very good and the visual effects are amazing. Also, it, it has, it, it's a great story. It, it is just really good. And uh, I, one of the, my favorite scenes involved uh, Quicksilver. Yeah, so it's not just, uh, so it's not all the X-Men you typically know, but there's some other uh, mutants from the Marvel Universe in there. So it's pretty awesome. Anyway, the, 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 the whole point is, by altering the past, it'll save the future for mutants and humankind. So this is good. Along the way, uh, it's, there's many explosions, lots of fights, and you have to wonder whose agenda is aligned to who. Or what they, or what they do, or how it will affect the future. It was a very good film, and after the after the credits roll, there's a little bonus scene, like there is with all with every Marvel film. Which I, so I suggest you recommend. I recommend you check it out because at the end, if you're a hardcore X-Men fan, you'll know who the the character is at the last f scene. So there's, now there's only three things that bug me about this film. Three minor nitpicks, but I have to point them out. Number one. Uh, there is a scene in the present which uh, contradicts uh, something from the previous film, X-Men The Wolverine. So, that seems like an oversight, or it, it just seems like a pretty big mix, uh, mistake that uh, someone missed. It, well, in my opinion, at least. Uh, secondly, uh, the way that the film ends, you have to wonder how it affected the previous six films and how it will affect the future for any other X-Men films or any Marvel films in general that will soon coexist or co-mingle with the X-Men franchise. And thirdly, I did not see Stan the Man Lee. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, folks, but no Stan. He's probably either in, maybe on the Avengers 2 or some other Marvel project, but that kind of surprised me. So, despite those three, those three uh, flaws... When time passes later on, and if you go see it for yourself, you'll see what the inconsistency is. So aside from those three flaws, I give X-Men uh, Days of Future Past a solid 8 out of 10. I recommend you check it out. It's a great film. Great job by the Marvel team. And I look forward to the next Marvel film, whether it be X-Men or some other Marvel property. Or, of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy coming out soon. And I suggest you check it out, too. I know I will. 
Until next time, this has been Lucha Man saying thank you for watching and have a nice day.